Yeah, okay, hello guys and once again welcome back to the channel and this is MMOPH and for today's video we are going to check out uh, League of Legends Wild Rift which is the mobile version of LOL. Now a lot of players have been encountering the issue with claiming the rewards when they're using an emulator and the best option would be to use the memo app player. So I have already tried LD player, it's not working. After a game, uh, once you reach the claiming the reward option, the game will get disconnected. It would be the same for Nox player and Memo player. So those three emulators will not work when you're playing with League of Legends Wild Drift. And for in and in order to actually get to play the game, one of the best options is as I mentioned earlier is to download the Memo app player. Now, this is a Chinese emulator, but there are a few things that you need to find out or you need to know before you start. Once you open up the game, um, it will be a bit laggy and the loading time could be a bit hectic. So, the first thing you need to do would be to click on play. Afterwards, click on custom, click on blind pick, then start the match. Select your champion, any champion will do. Click on the lock in option. So let's just wait it out. As I mentioned, I just opened the game. So we need to open the game or we need to go to a custom game first to warm up the process. Okay, this is where the issue would start. As you can see, the loading stage is not loading immediately. This could take around a minute or two or four waste worst case scenario it would take around three to five minutes or more so the best thing to do for now would be to pause the recording and once it loads i'm gonna get back to you but just to make a point i'm gonna leave this for maybe a few more seconds like 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, one, and it's still not loading. I'm gonna pause the recording for now, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so after one minute and twenty seconds, the game has started loading. So let's wait for the game to load. And once you're on this part of the game, just click on settings, click on quit game, then click on confirm. Afterwards, you will be redirected on the front page, but as you can see here, we have the calculating rewards and we have the continue button. So that's one problem solved. So once you're done with the custom game or with the blind pick, you can now click on play. You can either go for your normal game or go for the ranked game. So for now, I'm going to go for a normal game. I'm going to go find the match. And this time around, the loading would actually be fast. It won't be as long as it was earlier. Okay, so just to show you that the game is working, I'm gonna play a single game. And let's wait for the loadout option, just so I can show you how fast the game would load. Uh, using this emulator So while we're waiting the actual release of the game will be around October 27th, so Hopefully by that time all emulators would be working fine Not unless riot is against players using an emulator a lot of players have been saying that you will get banned if you use an emulator but one of the options that you actually do get banned for a few minutes or for 12 hours is due to the issue that every time you use an emulator, if you can't claim the reward, you will be treated as an AFK player and you will eventually get banned for 12 hours before you can play another game. And if the same thing happens, then you will get banned for another 12 hours plus. So the best option would be to use Memo App Player. And as you can see, the game is actually loading fast. I'm one of the players who actually got to 100% faster compared with the others. 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish this game and I'm gonna show you the results later on that I can claim the reward. Then I'm gonna be providing you with the second issue that we have for using an emulator or for using the memo app player. Okay, so one of the issues is on the controls for the movement option. Uh, there would be times wherein you would be ghosting or your character will be moving on different locations even though you're not clicking or intending to move on that specific place. So I guess that's going to be a problem for all types of emulators but that is one of the issues that you would encounter if you're using this one. Okay, after finishing the game, as you can see, I did lose the game, but I still can continue unlike others who can't. So just click on continue, the game should still be working fine. And you should be able to proceed on playing with the next game. However, the next issue as I mentioned earlier is that if you do click on play again, and if you do click on find match, after you enter the game, and once you proceed with the loading stage there are chances that you will be disconnected or you will get disconnected once again so the best option to prevent that would be to go to the custom game once again click on blind pick enter the game afterwards click on settings click on leave you can do that twice just to make sure you won't get disconnected then you can proceed on looking for or playing a normal PvP or a ranked PvP game. So those are the tips and guide that I can provide that really works from time to time. <laughs> but at least you can play the game using an emulator, especially if you don't have a good phone like me. Uh, my phone is not working or cannot handle the newest games or the newer games that are getting released this year to NT20. So for those of you still having the issues with uh, calculating the rewards, you can use the Mem Memo app player. I'll be leaving the link on the description below. And once again, guys, or once again, guys, this is MMOPH and have a good time playing. And do subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any type of questions. I'll definitely answer them back.